XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It has worked its way into almost everything these days, and J2EE is no exception. XML is a markup language like HTML. In HTML, you have a set of predefined tag names that have special meanings to web browsers. In XML, there are no predefined tags. You define all the tags in a dictionary, and then you write the XML code according to that dictionary. You name the dictionary at the top of the XML document so the program that reads it and interprets it knows what the tags mean. One thing that is often done is that a dictionary defines all the HTML tags and you can write XML code that can also be interpreted as HTML code by a web browser. By the way, the syntax of XML is much more strict than it is for HTML. Every opening tag must have a matching closing tag, and the opening and closing tags must also be nested properly. One place that XML has become very popular is for configuration files. There is some of that in J2EE. The program being configured reads the XML configuration file and interprets the contents according to the tags and sets the internal configuration. Another place that XML is used a lot is in communications. Because an XML document has a standard format, it can be sent from one place to another and read by the recipient. In fact, the SOAP, the SOAP protocol, is just that. It's an XML wrapper for a message. Now, this is not a course in XML, but there are some basic things that you need to know. The Java API for working with XML is JAXP, which stands for the Java API for XML Processing. You can use it to build an XML editor and writer, but its main purpose is to make it easy for you to read an XML document into your program. It does that in two different ways. DOM stands for the Document Object Module. It reads the XML code and creates a memory resident object that contains a tree with all of the tags. This object provides methods that you can call to walk around through that tree and pluck out the things that you need. There are also methods that you can use to edit the tree. SAX is the simple API for XML. It can be used to read an XML document as a stream of tags. You can use it to scan sequentially through a document to find what you're looking for. With this one, it's up to your program to keep track of the nesting and where you are in the document. But it's fast and it is memory efficient. The JAXB is the Java API for XML binding. You can use it to map XML to and from Java classes. You can specify the relationship and it will compile into a code that performs the actual mapping for you. The Java API for XML registries provides a uniform set of techniques for addressing different kinds of XML registries. A registry is used to deploy and locate web services. JAXR is an abstraction that makes the interface to them all look the same. The Java API for XML messaging makes it possible for applications to send and receive XML documents as messages. This includes the SOAP message format. As I said earlier, this is not a course in XML, but if you're not familiar with XML, don't let that bother you. You won't need to know it in depth, but you will need to know something about tags and such. Just enter XML tutorial in your favorite search engine and you can find quite a bit of information online.